Hello Tauruses, how are you? Welcome, my name is Misty the Mystic at Sugarfoot Tarot. Welcome, this is my chance for my heart and soul to connect with your heart and soul and my angels and guides to hang out with your angels and guides. So thank you, thank you very much. There's a lot going on with the heavens and planets. I'll go ahead and list it below. Your planet is Venus, so you are good to go. Um, meaning it's already gone direct. Uh, please check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign to get your full scope of what your um, September 2020 is going to look like. This is a love read for you. And hello to you and the cross watchers that are watching. And um, I have chosen Legacy of the Divine Tarot for today. And I also chose Cactus. This is how I feel that um, the world's going to feel the month of September very prickly okay and so let's go ahead and change the the um, energy and get started okay all right wonderful so upon meditating before I started uh, my mobile phone I asked several times and I got basically the same answer but in different ways. I see you happy with yourself. I see you daydreaming, waiting on something, but I see you truly happy being in your own space. That's what I'm seeing. And as I shuffled, because I wanted to be ready before the camera was on, this fell out, which is, you know, the three of wands. So you are waiting, you are daydreaming, you are hoping the future is going to be a certain way. So your wish will come true because you're really focusing on it and trying to manifest. So very nice. Okay, my Taurus, I have already shuffled. <coughs> Pardon me, I don't know where that came from. Oh, that must mean that you all are having troubles with your allergies. Um, yeah, that cough. I don't cough, so definitely take care of your allergies or in that respect. Okay, one last shuffle. Whoa, and let's cut the card. This one fell out before we cut them. Nine of Cups. So yes, you are very happy um, in your own space, living in your own world, daydreaming, um, being by yourself at that moment, you know, looking at the beautiful green grass and the trees, and you're very happy within yourself. That is beautiful. I wish everyone had that. I wish, I wish, I wish. If wishes were fishes and I were a duck, I'd swim to the bottom and never come up, right? Bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness, and I shuffled this a lot. This came in Aries. Um, so, yeah, a lot of give and take, a lot of um, communication. But I think this is within yourself. I think your brain is working out what needs to work out for manifestation or um, make it, having your wishes come through, what you want. So you're definitely... Um, bringing in all the elements to do so so wonderful source three of source so yes the past has hurt you could be 2020 that's hurt you what's going on it could this is a love read so definitely in the past you could definitely have issues with people hurting you um you consequently hurting yourself um by picking the wrong person or the wrong person picking you or you continually making the same mistakes picking the wrong person again it's not your fault could be the other person, you're just your pickers off. Um, and again, that's all karma, that's all past life. So that's probably what you're doing is you're daydreaming and waiting for the future to come in. And you are definitely, um, let me pull that bottom card out. You're definitely um, uh, doing the shadow work, taking care of business, making sure that this doesn't happen again and that you will only attract good people. If it is a, a, a couple, if you are in a committed relationship, um, you're definitely like, you're going to make sure that the mistakes that you've made or the mistakes they have made will not happen again. That's just communication with your loved one um, saying, okay, what do we need to do to fix this so that I don't hurt you and you don't hurt me? So there's a lot of good things coming out of this. And by you holding it, holding your space, being in it, um, doing that soul searching, um, some call it mirror work, some call it... Um, shadow work but just going in and diving deep anything is happening in your world or your mate could be doing it as well anything happening in your world you're kind of letting it bubble up and you're dismissing it which is wonderful 
a page of coins. So definitely you, don't get hung up on the gender. Uh, my readings are for everybody. So this is you. This is my earth sign. You could be dealing with another earth sign, or you could have a child that is an earth sign. Um, but I feel this is you. And um, yeah, you're in the reading, and it always makes me extremely happy when I'm reading for somebody and they show up in the reading. So wonderful. You see yourself. Others see you. This is a wonderful card. Mm, six of coins. So, with you working out what you want for the future, trying to make everyone happy, you're weighing out, you may be spending too much, spending too little, trying to balance the checks and balances in your head, figuring out what the future is going to be. Your, your gears are working in your brain, and you're just really trying to make that happen, whatever you want, whatever you're daydreaming about or manifesting or hoping for. Um, you're really trying to make it work um, in the physical sense, money sense, material sense, um, and I believe you can do that because it was right after the you card. So you have all the powers to manifest and make what happen that you really, really want. The sun. Oh, I love this card. No matter what deck I have, and I have over 200 decks. Well, I lost count at 200, but um, all the sun cards. It's just a happy. You know, you're just living in the sun. And that's one thing that I saw. The first vision I asked my angels and guides was a person with the sun on their face, which was causing their hair to be golden. And just looking around, just the, the beauty of the world. And so I asked again because I was like, there's got to be something else to this. And it showed me a person with the sun in their face, which was causing their hair to be golden. Looking out the window, and again, the green, green grass, the tree, the green trees, daydreaming. Um, so yeah, just let the sun hit your face and just think. Think about what you want. Manifest what you want. Believe in yourself that you can do this. You can make this happen. I know this is a love read, so... Um, Love ties in with everyday life, but you can make the relationship you want. You've been hurt. You've been hurt. And um, you you can change this. You can make this happen. Lover's card. Yes. Yeah. So my singles, your hurt from the past is over. You've dealt with it. Love is coming in. My couples any fighting and fussing because of being stuck inside in 2020 is all going to subside. And you're going to stare out the window and be love. Just be in love. Enjoy being in love. Rekindling that love. Um, falling in love if you're single. Falling in love again. Um, just enjoy. Enjoy the beauty. You are Venus. That is your planet. You are all love. So enjoy this feeling. Captivate it. Hold on to it. Um, you know, Aries got this as well. So fight for yourself. Fight for what you believe in, your heart. Guard your heart, but show your heart as well. Um, fight for the love of your life. Fight for the new love of your life. Let go of anything in the past that's hurt you. Truly cut them out of your life. Um, I don't have any swords in here, but... Um, and if you can't cut them out of your life and you give it another shot... It could work. It could work. Um, we've got Jupiter coming direct. We've got Saturn coming direct. So the hard work is over. Um, enjoy your victories. Here's the sword I was mentioning. So yes, you're going to want to cut out anything from your past. And I know it's hard for you Tauruses. That's so difficult. But take pick up one of these swords and just cut out the past. The reason being is you can have this. The love of your life can come in. Or if you're a couple, pick up one of these swords and cut out the past. Truly move on. Let the past go. Go on and just be lovers. Just be happy. Be in love. And just let bygones be gone. That's the past. Queen of Swords. So yes, you are definitely going to uh, take charge and you're going to, uh, you could be dealing with an Aries. You could have a lot of air in your chart. Uh, but I truly believe, um, one, two, three, four, five. So you've got another sword in here. And just cut them out. Be strong. And enjoy being in love. Daydream and enjoy being in love. 
And yes, let's do one. Oops, let's do one more card. Oh, you're worried about money. You're worried about money, but remember, you can make this happen. You've already got a good grasp on how to make this happen. Um, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. Keep daydreaming. The answers will come to you. You could be dealing with another earth sign, but I think you're all in your head because we have a lot of swords going on here. So enjoy being in love. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. If you like your own personal reading, grab me on sugarfoottarot.com. Have a great month of September. Bye-bye, Tauruses.